Well, first of all, thank you for um, coming to talk to us today and welcome back to the Palace Theatre. Absolutely. Nice, to be, nice to be back, isn't it? Both of you have both been here before, haven't mm-hmm. you? So what have you done here before? Remind I, us. Well, I certainly did the verdict last year yeah. and I think I was here with Brief Encounter and I think I was here with Ideal Husband many years ago. I think I was here with Present Laughter. I've been here quite a few times. Yeah, no you're way a, around. a regular, yeah. clearly. Yeah. And how about you? Paul? Also twice. <laughs> I was last year with The Business of Murder three years ago, and I think I came with Comedy of Errors way back in the day, mate. That's a long time oh, ago. So you've done a bit of Shakespeare then? Mm, it's first professional gig. Was it? Yep. Excellent. So most people will know you from your TV, from our TV screens. Um, Emma Dale, Holly Oaks, and of course London's Burning oh, for of course. you. What else? At the moment. What? Never off, love. Can we believe that was 30, 30 years ago that first started, wasn't it? Started, uh, yeah, 86, it's longer, 32 years this year, yeah. yeah. That was the pilot. The series started in 88, I think. Yeah, yeah and so you, were, 30 you, years, yeah. you were sick note in that. I was. Happy memories of that? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it was, you yeah, haven't changed a bit, have you? Not that much. Yeah, I'd, I lost my hair doing it, that's for sure. <laughs> it was all burnt off in a very nasty fire. But, uh, <laughs> so, uh, no, yeah, very happy memories. You were a nice, good team. Cool. Um, most actors um, that I speak to say that they enjoy a balance of doing TV and stage work. Uh, would you um, agree with that? I would, it's, yeah, because they're, they're both completely different disciplines. And this theatre is much more enjoyable because it's more immediate and more exciting. You, you are on, your, on the edge sometimes, aren't you? Playing on your nerves every night. And please don't get it wrong. And whereas TV can be, if you get it wrong, you do it again. Yeah. Uh, but there's also a lot of sitting around and waiting around. And they do say that TV and film, you, you get paid to, to wait, not, not act. Mm. But it's got its benefits. You're inside, you're warm, you get paid well. They send a car for you. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Yeah. There's also the other thing that, I mean, you, you've, you've got always got another chance to get it right. And it doesn't it sound like we don't get it right most nights, but we do. <laughs> but to improve on your performance, because if you're in a, a decently long run. Mm. Whereas on TV, as I'm sure Paul will agree, you can be in, do a scene, a take, where you don't think you've maybe done your best. But you can often be convinced by the director or the producer who wants, because time is money, and they'll say, no, 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 it's, yeah, fine. it's no, fine, no, no, we don't need another one. You, you, you know. right. And of course, when you see it, you know, six yeah. months later when it comes out, and you another get, oh. six million people are watching it, you think, why didn't I yeah. really insist? But, yeah, uh, that must be quite frustrating. But you're not your own best judge suddenly, are you? So that's, mm. that's the point. So what about when you're performing on stage then? Yeah. And how did your, your performances can't be exactly the same every night, can no, they? No, I, I hope to God they're not, really. No. I mean, hopefully you get the lines in the right order, otherwise I'm Paul and I... Sometimes. Have a, we have a couple of scenes. And <laughs> 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 we look a bit bemused. Remember that night? No, yeah, oh, we look no, a bit no. bemused <laughs> occasionally. Yeah. Is so. it your go or mine? <laughs> what, yes. Where are you going, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, last time Middle Grounds um, Theatre Company were here, it was an Agatha Christie. This time okay. it's another lady writer, yeah. Ruth Randell. Um, completely different kinds of crime writing. Though. Yeah. Oh, also, I think uh, Paul will probably agree, when she writes as Barbara Vine, which yes. this, this is under her other name, that uh, they get a bit more dark, mm. a bit darker, yeah. a bit more psychological. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So can you tell us a little bit, give us a brief synopsis of what no. Gallo Glass is about? <laughs> Come and watch it. <laughs> oh, I'm coming tonight. I'll be it's here. It's a story of warped <laughs> obsession. Warped obsession. Yes. Yeah, it is. That's pretty much what it is, really, isn't yeah, it? It is. It's a, it's sort of a, it's a stalking, kidnappy mm. kind of... I don't want to give too much away. No. It's difficult, actually, to, to discuss it without giving so much away. But, but is, all the characters yeah. are... Are fundamentally damaged in they some are flawed, way. Flawed, yeah, no and doubt about it. Their paths cross in this rather bizarre story of obs- one man's obsession. Yeah. And they all come together, and it's like a big car crash, really, isn't mm. it? Mm. Train wreck, completely. Mm. It, yeah, because it starts off with um, Joe trying to kill himself and being mm. saved. Yeah, that that's right? not giving too much away. No. Yeah, no. Is it he not? might be trying to kill himself. Mm. We're not sure. He's oh, not sure. Okay. No, not well, sure. people who've read the book or maybe seen there was a TV miniseries yeah. of mm. it, wasn't there? There was, a, yeah, um, a sort of miniseries, a three-parter. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So some people might have preconceived ideas of what it's going to be like. So is the stage adaption much different to, no. to that? It's, it's very Better, faithful, isn't yeah. it? Because we watched, we've read the book and watched um, we saw the, it, yeah, the miniseries. We all watched it together. 
together. Oh, did you? So it was nice to compare. And a lot of the dialogue is the same. The action is pretty much the same. And what goes on is, is pretty much the same, isn't I it? So, so it's, yeah. a, it's a very faithful adaptation. Yeah. Uh, this thing about theatre is that it's all happening right here and now in, in two hours. Yeah. So you get everything you saw on the TV and it, pretty much in the book, and but right here in front of you, trains and that sort of thing, underground mm -hmm. stations. How do you do that on stage? Ah, that's a secret. You'll find out. Tonight. I will. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so tell us a bit about who you're playing and your characters. No, I play Paul Garnett, who's damaged in the sense that his um, wife's dumped him. Basically, um, he and his daughter, who's only 11 years old, his wife decided that she never really wanted kids in the first place and was much rather be an academic and has just dumped his husband and child hmm. so he's emotionally scarred from that because he's a solid decent man you know he's, a, he's an english teacher hmm. and he's moved away to start a new life and he's coping with the repercussions of the fallout of his marriage and how having to look after his daughter and take on that responsibility full time as a single parent so it's how he copes and with that circumstances of his life and also being thrust into a completely alien environment with with this gentleman and his missus right and you are i play ralph absaland who is uh, the head of a massive security firm uh, which has made him a lot of money and so he's joined the upper class set he's pretending to be a country gentleman really right. and he has, he's acquired a trophy wife really mm. in yeah. this is what nina abbott ex-model is mm. he's our faint the femme fatale of the piece and uh, she has had a succession of husbands, as you'll find out, and they're mostly husbands for security and for no other reason. This is a woman who's never fallen in love. But watch, your, watch this space. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, OK. So is there anything of your characters in you? Do you bring a piece of yourself into, into a role? Your red pants. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Yes, I have red prizes. I'm intrigued. Uh, well, uh, no. I, my, character, <laughs> my character wears an MCC tie in the first, first scene, and uh, I am a member of the MCC. So. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> but that's my, about that's, it. My okay. character's a thoroughly decent bloke, and I'm not. Oh, so. oh I'm sure that's not it's true. It's a real stretch yeah. for me, this piece. Yeah, yeah. So every theatre that you come to, this has been quite a long tour, hasn't mm, it? You've yeah. been going since, since January. January. Yeah. Every theatre must have um, its little quirks. For instance, here we've got the steepest rake in Britain, History, yeah. I think. Mm. Yeah. So how do you, does that have any problems? You get eight cars if you're on stage a lot. You? <laughs> you do, at the end of the week, you notice if you've been in a theatre with a rake. <laughs> if you have to do a lot of standing around. I'm, I'm not only on for two minutes. I'm also the assistant director. That's kind of a bigger job for me in this production. Oh, okay. I didn't realise that. Uh, but I'm, so I'm only on the stage for you know, ten minutes. But, um, but what a ten minutes it is. Oh. It's pretty damn good. Yeah. Award-winning <laughs> <laughs> ten minutes. Yeah. Yeah, this is mini cameo. Um, <laughs> So for anybody who doesn't realise, there's not just you two in it, obviously. Gosh, there's no, it's ten, cast. ten of mm, you, aren't there? There's fourteen of us, aren't there? In total, yeah. But how many people on stage? Is how many on stage at one go? Ten. Ten. Right. Company ten. manager yeah. says ten. It must be right. ten. Yeah. Which so is nice. A lot of these productions, you only see two or three people. In the last one, yeah. I was in the room with three others. So it's nice to see different characters come come on and off, and you know, explain their involvement in what's going on. Yeah. And very brave of our producer, Mike. Indeed. Lanning, to you know, to put big cast shows on because they're expensive, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. And we carry a, a crew of uh, you know. The Four who that's are two of them, two of them. <laughs> who are wonderful, brilliant understudies as well. Should anything happen to us? So. Oh, has anything happened to anybody? Mm, touch wood, no. Not no. yet. No. 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 Yeah, touch, yeah. touch something. Yeah, that's good. So, how do you uh, perform him so many times during mm. the week um, and, and over the tour? How do you sustain the energy and enthusiasm for for? getting on stage every night. Well, I think it kind of helps that we enjoy doing it. The beauty of this production in particular <laughs> is that. Every, it's a nice bunch of people yeah. we're working with, it, number one. Number two, it's a good production. And number three, the standards are so high. And having the assistant director here as well, you're mm. not going to rest on your laurels, which you shouldn't do anyway. But everybody's, the beauty of this one is that everybody's striving to make it better every night. You'll mm. see people, we discuss it every night. Yeah. Can we do this? Can we do that? Joe and Dean are always going. Yeah. They're always in and out of my dressing room saying, should we try this? Can we yeah. try this? Can so we it's kind of evolved yeah. over the... Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely a very different show from when we started. In Absolutely. And yeah. it is a work in progress. This yeah. has never been done on the stage before. Yeah. It is a world premiere. Yeah. I was so gonna... it's an experiment in one sense. So we found out things that do work, things that don't work, how we can improve other scenes and mm. passages of dialogue that can... can 
be improved or lost or, or whatever. So we're constantly trying to improve the show. And by doing that, if you're trying different things all the time, it brings a fresh energy to it, each performance. Yeah. And we just like doing it. Mm. And every audience is different. I mean, mm. so you know, there is always a different reaction to certain parts. You know, you gauge by how certain lines go down. But I mean, because it's not without its comedy, this show. There's I was going to ask you that because it's oh, quite some serious. There's lovely witty bits in it. You'll find yeah. it's not all doom and gloom. Oh, thank goodness. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I'd better let you two get on because um, I'm sure you've got lots to do and mm -hmm. curtain's up in like an hour and a bit. Yeah, so yeah. a bit. Just uh, like to say thank you so much for talking to Sadden Theatre You're Scene welcome. today. Nice really to appreciate it. Lovely to be here. Thank and you, And break legs later. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you.